being resilient. This is something that women constantly notice in a man and kind of just how he responds to situations. And so when I look up the, the term resilient, the word resilient in the dictionary, it says it's an adjective. All right. And it means able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. Now notice resilience is not a verb. It's not a noun. It's an adjective. It's a way to describe someone. It is a character trait. All right. And so being resilient is not necessarily what you do. It's who you are. All right. Most men are not resilient. Most men are victims, meaning that when they come and they've just found raw dating advice and a lot of what we talk about is contrary to popular mainstream belief, or maybe, maybe they, they feel insecure about an area of their life, especially around women. And rather than thinking, oh, I can do this. I can improve. They want to play a victim to their current circumstance. And so they say, I, I've sucked with women up to this point. And they start trying to point fingers. They start trying to take blame off of themselves. And so victims, they'll point and they'll go, it's the women are all bitches. There's not enough good looking women over here uh, in my town. Uh, you know, women just don't know how to, women just like assholes and I'm, I'm nice. And you know, women suck because they don't like nice guys like me. Right. And so you're, you're looking to place the blame on things outside of you. And so being a resilient person is something that obviously repels women. Nobody wants to be around the person who's, um, super negative all the time, always plays the victim. Um, because I don't know if about you, but you, we all know that one guy where when he walks in the room, kind of just the energy kind of just gets sucked out of the room and you're like, it kind of just gets quiet or whatever. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, hopefully you're not that guy, right? But at the end of the day, you don't want to be an energy drainer. You want to be an energy charger. You want to add energy to the room. You want to add positive vibes and good emotions and people actually being excited around you. Well, I'll just tell you what, <laughs> the first way to make sure you are the energy drainer and, and ensure that you are repelling people away from you is playing the victim a lot and just being scarcity negative minded in the, in the first place. Right. And so most men are not resilient. Most men are victims. 99% of men. Now, likely, hopefully this is not you and it's not going to be you pretty soon because um, most men aren't even able to admit to themselves that they need this help with this area of their life. So they will never even start seeking out help in the first place. All right. And so let me kind of read you this little blurb I wrote about kind of just victims. And hopefully uh, this, this helps you understand this on a better level. Most men, they believe that they are victims of circumstance. They believe this is something that was done to them against their will. And whether they know it or not, because this is their identity, it, because their identity is that of a victim, they literally block themselves from being able to become resistant. Okay. So in order for you to become a resilient person, you must first stop being the victim. Right? If you want to be more resilient in your life, if you want to be the type of person who always finds a way to succeed regardless of what people are saying or regardless of the circumstances because that's who you are, you're a disciplined person, you have to become resilient and to do that, you must first stop playing the victim in your life. All right, because here is the hard, cold truth. You will always meet the standards that you have for yourself in life, right? And I say that because right now you are making the exact amount of money in your bank account that you should be making, all right? You are getting the girls that you should be getting. You look at exactly how you should look, right? Are you overweight? That's your fault. All right. The first step is taking fucking responsibility if you want to be resilient, because if you're in constant denial, if you're always looking for blame outside, then that same type of mentality is going to lead you to seek for help outside. And at the end of the day, the only person who can help you is you. The major key to your better future is you and nobody else. All right. And so the moment you become a victim, this is why it's dangerous is because the moment you become a victim is the moment you start settling for what you currently have. You literally cut off your ability to be able to improve because misery lo loves comp company and you are a product of the people you spend the most time with. And so if you're constantly being a victim, if you're constantly speaking about negative things, if you constantly have this fucking toxic energy that you're radiating, whether or not it's because you are just a stressed out person, maybe you're just really anxious, whatever the reason that may be, if you're projecting that energy out, you're repelling people away from you, not just women, right? But at the end of the day, what's the polar opposite? How do you attract women? You become a fucking resilient person, right? Because that's a main, like, I don't know if you know about this, but if you've been on raw dating advice for a while, we constantly talk about the ability to lead. You must be leading the interaction. Well, how can you ever be a good leader for your woman if you can't even lead yourself, right? And good leadership is a person who takes fucking responsibility and improves on those 
weaknesses and those weak spots so he can actually start winning more consistently in the future. All right. So no more blaming the economy. No more blaming the government. No more blaming the asshole boss. No more blaming that bitch who cheated on you. No more blaming your parents. No more blaming the advice you got. No more blaming that alarm that didn't go off. No more blaming the Chinese virus. No more blaming the YouTube algorithm. No more blaming ridiculously high taxes. No more blaming your introverted personality. No more blaming the city you live in. No more blaming how short, broke, or fat you are. All right. Here's the thing. Your mind has two wolves. Which one wins? <laughs> I, bu I butcher that. Your mind has two wolves. One's a victim, one's resilient. Which one wins? The one you feed. All right, stop playing the victim. Start taking responsibility for every result that you have in your life right fucking now. <laughs>